I'll show you some good reps and then we'll talk about it. So, first of all, why are we doing a lateral raise like this? Now, the lateral raise is always going to be hardest when my arm is parallel with the floor or perpendicular to gravity. And when we do a standing dumbbell lateral raise, that happens here around the top of the movement. Now, that's not bad, but if we want to challenge the bottom portion of the movement, it's really hard to do that when we're standing. This position in a dumbbell lateral raise, when my arm is down here, is a complete rest. And that's where my deltoid is more stretched. And so if we want to challenge this position, what we can do is we can actually lay down sideways. And now this position where my arm is parallel with the floor or perpendicular to gravity is more challenging. And that's actually closer to the bottom of the movement. That's about here. And so by laying down, we can challenge the earlier phase of the lift where the muscle is more stretched. And that's cool for hypertrophy. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna set up your bench at around 30 degrees. Again, if it's one click up from there or one click down, it's probably gonna work fine and I can help in a form video. And I want you to lay down sideways. You can do that one of two ways. You can put both knees up on the bench like this and you can lay sideways, either having your arm dangle off or a more seductive position like this, whatever, get comfortable. A lot of this setup is gonna be directed by whatever you feel most comfortable doing and I'm gonna show you my preferred way to do that now. What I like to do is I like to have my bottom leg on the bench and my top leg on the floor like this. Now that won't work for everybody. Depending on how long this leg is, it might not be able to reach the floor and you might be here and this is great. This is a perfectly fine way to do this. And if you can't touch the floor, it's your only way to do this. And so if you're in this position, which is gonna work great, get comfortable, put the dumbbell in that top arm and I want a straight arm and I want it at the start resting on your leg like this just while you get comfortable. This arm does whatever you need it to do to feel comfortable. If that's dangling, great. If that's here, that's great. If it's here, that's great, all good. So for me, I like having it cup the bench and hold on like this. From here, make sure your chest is facing forward like this, not up to the ceiling, not down to the floor, kind of squared 90 degrees forward. And so what I want you to do is I want you to raise from this position to about this position where you are almost arm directly overhead. And that's gonna feel like a little bit of a rest and it is, and that's okay. And when you're coming down, I want you to really control it on the way down. So it's gonna look something like this. I'll show you with both knees up. You're gonna raise and you're gonna feel that drop off around here. This is a complete rest and that's okay. And you're gonna come down nice and slow. Now that was with 10 pounds and I'll tell you right now, it was challenging if you're doing it right with a nice straight arm and a controlled tempo. So give yourself some grace when it comes to picking a weight. Quick recap. I want you to set up the bench around 30 degrees, one click up or one click down is gonna work fine. Pop the seat part up on the bench just so you can wedge yourself in. Either put both knees here or have one foot on the floor, that's totally fine. But make sure your chest is squared forward like this. I don't care what you do with this arm, just make sure you feel stable. Start with that dumbbell on the side of your hip like this. And you're gonna raise up to the top and then really make sure you're controlling it on the way down like this with a nice straight arm. Whew. 